Hi everyone, it's Jessica Payne and welcome to another one of my quick how-tos. Uh, today we're going to be answering a question uh, that I get asked quite a bit and it is how to choose better imagery for social media. And let me just finish that that question. It, it's, it's more how do I choose better imagery on social media that converts, right? One of the biggest challenges I get from uh, my clients, a lot of them are small to medium-sized business owners, are the fact that, look, they might sell a product or service that's really difficult to visualize. Yet here they are hearing from everyone, including myself, that they need to start using imagery on social media. They're like, but how do we visualize this product or service? And I can sympathize with that actually, because my background is digital marketing, branding, and social media. I don't sell cars or I don't sell organic vegetables. So it's sometimes really hard to visualize what I'm talking about. And this can be really tricky, especially if you're trying to convert and, and engage people on social media. So typically what happens is this. We fall down the rabbit holes of like these rookie mistakes that frankly got us through the last several years, but are no longer serving us. So here's an example. I just put out a post um, on this very topic. Here's the blog post right here, how to increase engagement on social media using emotion. Now, about five or six years ago, the easy thing would have been to say, okay, I need a, I need an image to go with my blog post that says social media. So I'd jump over to Google, search social media, and click images. Like, raise your hand if you've done this. I know, this is kind of the go-to. Uh, the only reason why this isn't really um, going to serve you anymore is, A, a lot of people are cracking down on the usage of their photos and images. So if you find and pull and use an image on Google, um, you could run into some hot water. Um, at the very least, you could be contacted by that photographer or brand asking you to take it down. Uh, at the most, you could be looking at, you know, some uh, financial uh, issues because you violated the rights. So, but the, the, the biggest thing right now, and maybe the easiest pill to swallow, is the fact that imagery like what you're staring at is just, it's boring, it's cold, it's overused. And if I was one of my uh, customers, this wouldn't stop me on social media in my tracks to click on your post. So the challenge remains, where do we find really good hot imagery that is totally authentic, that's warm, that's what the consumer wants today, that actually speaks to our brand. And so tip number one is this, what you're gonna wanna look for when you're looking for imagery is essentially just a visual representation of what your customers care about. So let me show you an example to, um, of how easy that actually can be and then, Make sure that you hold on to the end of this uh, training because I'm actually going to share with you my top five uh, go-to resources for free imagery and videos. Like this is the stuff I use all the time because I don't want you to get hung up in finding these videos. These are excellent resources, so, so hang on. But first, let me show you what I mean. Here on Facebook is Nationwide Insurance's Facebook page. And I chose Nationwide Insurance because Nationwide Insurance is not sexy and uh, you can bet that they run in the, into challenges of trying to visualize their social media content because frankly, you don't have to sell me on the importance of Nationwide. Even if I am a customer or interested in your brand, like I, I'm probably gonna have to be really convinced to stop in my tracks and actually like pay attention to your social media posts. And they know this is a challenge. So here's a really interesting image that they've chosen. I wanted to, to, to share it with you. Even insurance can be sexy. And that's my second tip. Even if your product or service isn't terribly sexy or engaging, you can still visualize it. Because remember, at the end of the day, your customers are human. And what you wanna do is tap into basically what's happening in their lives, which is why I love this image so much. It's like, if you're a parent or have ever tried to sleep in on a Saturday or, you know, you can totally sympathize with this image. And, you know, um, this is, you know, at the very least going to make you kind of stop in your tracks and probably give it a chuckle. And Nationwide, that's all Nationwide wants. They've stopped you from thrum scrolling past their, their page. And so you, they are, you're actually sitting there reading. And if you're a customer, this might be really important because they've just put out an annual report. I guarantee you, if they put up a boring bar graph or s statistics or whatever, no one's, no one's going to read that. That's boring. So they're really smart and you can tell that they've actually done their research to find and they probably have data to back up what matters most to their customers. So of course they've posted a photo of a family and kids jumping on the bed. All that is, it has nothing to do with the annual report, 
but it has everything to do with probably a mass amount of their customers, the fact that they are raising families and Nationwide is tapping into what's important. That's it. That was the same exact thought process in terms of what I used to choose um, the image for my blog post. So again, let's let's just jump back to what I could have posted, you know, maybe circa 2007, 2008, what I don't encourage any of you to be doing. And if you're doing this, stop it. Google Images is no longer a reliable resource. And that's why in a sec, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna give you a chance to, to download my favorite uh, websites. All I did was jump over to one of my favorite websites, which is called Unsplash, and they are, have a bevy of amazing, warm, authentic, searchable images like this one. So let me just um, echo what I mentioned for Nationwide. Instead of just posting a, a cold, kind of boring social media graphic, I chose one that I know matters to my customers. I work with a lot of small to medium sized business owners who are raising kids they're crazy busy right now because of the warm summer months and going into fall. Like, you know, I'm actually out here in Los Angeles, so this actually appeals to a lot of their um, year-round lifestyle. I work with a lot of diverse families as well. And the post is about emotion. So with a little bit of a search, I found this image, which I've already gotten compliments on, and I've posted it over on social, which you can actually see here. So here's what it looks like on, on social, okay? So yeah, th this has a greater probability of people actually stopping, reading it, clicking through. That's, that's the strategy, okay? So the tips are, you know, remember what matters to your customer. Take the time to search and find the right image and stop using Google Images and honestly stop uh, copying what, what other businesses are doing. And the last tip, a reminder, even if you don't sell a very visual product or service, and even if it's not sexy, you can find an image because what you're really doing, again, is tapping into what really matters to your customer, okay? So now it's probably what you actually really want me to tell you, which is how can you get your hands on um, images like the one I have here? And that's super easy. All you have to do is, is two things. If you're following, if you're watching this video on Facebook, just jump into the chat like you're going to send me a message and type the word images. That's it. Just type the word images. So like you're going to message me and then you're going to be prompted uh, to type in one word, one more word. And that is just to triple check that you actually do want this. You're not going to be emailed anything. You don't have to download anything. I'm actually going to spit right back four of my favorite websites. They're already hyperlinked that you can click to now. They're all free. Um, they include photos and videos and you'll actually recognize some of the images. Legit. I use these. Because the biggest thing is I want to get you out from behind trying to find the perfect image and I want you to go straight to these resources. And I guarantee you, your competitors are not using these resources yet because a lot of people are still falling into those old patterns. Okay. So that's if you're on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to have to jump over to my Facebook page to do this. And you can jump on Facebook and search Jessica Payne official. There's also a link in the descriptor. And do the same thing. Jump into chat. Well, like the page, please. Jump into chat and then type in the word images and you're going to be prompted. This is using the really cool new Facebook bot, and which is awesome. You don't have to talk to me to get this. You don't have to download anything. It's just going to spit out my four uh, favorite links. So at the end of the day, I hope this was helpful. Uh, jump on. Start really putting time into choosing awesome images. Share this with your team. And make sure that you follow this page. Um, you can either, you know, continue to follow me on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. And if you are finding success, send me a chat back because I would love to highlight you and your business um, using these and enjoying it, okay? So again, that was how to choose better imagery on social media. And this can be used for all social media platforms to make uh, it a little bit more uh, visually appealing and valuable, right, to your customers. So thanks so much, you guys. Good luck and happy posting on social media. See you next time.